wrong. Hello and welcome back. Wow, that was, that was very excessively excited. Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2 where the last time we accidentally discovered uh, uh, like dark energy or something because I started putting negatives in front of things that aren't really supposed to be negative and I realized you can make you can make mass negative. So for example, if we get the sun and we make the sun negative mass, everything gets not only keeps going in the same direction but gets pushed away from the sun. That's gnarly. That's fantastic. You know why? Let me explain because how I was thinking was I have a hypothesis that because of how gravity is calculated uh, between the distance of objects uh, let's get the formula for gravity gravity formula let's just get the simple one okay so because it's times mass over radius squared I believe because it's multiplied by mass that the top's going to become negative when we do negative but if it's only one body that's negative it'll push it away but if both bodies are negative I think they'll cancel out and they'll pull together again now I'm not sure about that so let's see what happens Let's see if they cancel out. I, I want to know what happens when we use negative masses in this game because it actually it tells us a lot about how the simulation works and it's also something that's just completely unexpected. So let's go ahead and set one Earth to negative mass. First off, if you didn't notice, the text Earth got a lot bigger. I don't know why. And now they're floating away from each other uh, pretty quickly actually. But as they get further away, there won't be as much of a push away from each other, so they'll basically hit constant speed. That, that's not super exciting. But what's interesting is, let's see what happens if we make both negative. So there's either two things or three things that'll happen. First off, there is the possibility that they're just going to go away from each other. Second they will stop moving altogether, and third, they will collide at each other. Not sure what's gonna happen, but let's test it out. This Earth is now, yeah, it makes the text so much larger. All the things that the game depends upon the mass for, get, oh, now, now they're both strange, okay. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, oh, actually, do they just push each other away faster? They do, look at the speed they're getting. Oh my god, it's actually quite impressive how much speed these objects are getting away from each other. If I put them really close to each other, like really, really close. Yeah, they really accelerate each other. You could actually use this. Oh, we could actually do a test here. What if we have... Okay, so we've got one Earth that is repelling. Uh, how can we use this in like fancy and creative ways? So if we have these two Earths that are attracted towards each other, but we put one smaller object between them, like Mars, something much smaller, but if we give Mars negative mass, when the Earths get close, are they going to start losing speed? Because they'll be much closer to Mars at that point, so that they'll get pushed out by Mars. But they should be attracted to each other more over a long distance because of their mass. So let's see what happens. Let's keep an eye on the speed here. They are gaining speed still, and they're still gaining speed. One kilometer per second, 1.25, 1.3, 1.4. So now the problem, they're actually, they are getting pushed away from Mars. Look, they're getting pushed in this direction. So let's ensure that they are actually going straight towards Mars. Let's get right in their way. And Earth, Earth really doesn't like this. They're actually, Mars is getting pushed quite violently out of the way. Let's go ahead and increase the mass. It's just, it's just too little compared to Earth. But maybe if we go up to like half the mass of Earth, the fact that it's much closer is going to become more important. Can we prevent these Earths from colliding? Oh my God, it's gonna happen. Wait, they're slowing down. 
They, they are actually... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. I can actually tell that this Mars is being kind of pushed in both directions. And those Earths really don't want to hit Mars. But they don't really have a choice because they're going towards each other. Let's go ahead and increase the mass even... Oh, okay. Let's also increase the density. So now it's six times the mass of Earth. We're going to turn the speed really low. Really low, and we're going to see... Come on. Does Earth have enough time to slow down? No, the speed is just increasing at this point. It looks like at this point, whatever is going on, Mars is definitely not like... Oh, my God. Wait a second. What's going to happen when Mars eats Earth? Oh my god, the mass is decreased. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm very confused right now, actually. Is Mars just going to, like... Did, did they lose mass from that collision? Like, all the Mars fragments are negative mass, correct? So... So now that all the Mars negativeness is here... Oh my god, it's happening! They're just decreasing in mass. What? No. No, they are actually de- What? What? This Earth has no mass anymore. What? <laughs> we, what is going on? Oh my god. Okay, we need to try this again. So we have to... So if you force something with negative mass to smack into something with positive mass, as is expected, it subtracts the mass, but without the giant energy explosion that antimatter would have. The game does not simulate that part. Absolutely insane. Never thought of doing this before. Let's take a look at Earth's mass. It's gonna lose some from any collision, but it's gonna gain much more. So when Mercury hits, we're going to take note of what happens. This is such weird behavior. Ah! Oh, and Mercury's just running away. The mass ripped off of it isn't, but Mercury just really does not want to go towards Earth. We actually shot it pretty fast. Oh my god, all the lines and stuff are messed up as well. You know, I really hope that Universe Sandbox 2 doesn't fix this. I, I, I know it's probably not planned for this to be a thing, but I really hope they don't change it. This is just, this is too much fun to mess around with. Like, we have legitimately discovered something in this game that isn't real. Oh, wow. It is really losing speed. It, it's actually impressive how... How quickly... Huh. Okay, but compared to the speed at which we're going, there's no hope to slow down in time. Okay, so Earth is about to eat this negative mass. Oh my god! Look, look at it! Look as it eats Mercury! Wow! It's just... It's, it's the exact opposite of what you would expect. Earth is losing mass due to the collision ejecting mass, but it's also losing mass when it gains mass. Nothing here makes sense. It's just a losing game all around. Earth is... Uh, well, Earth did also vaporize, which is pretty bad, but you could definitely see during the collision that's not, that's not really what was expected. Um... Now, the question we asked last time is, do galaxies behave in the same way? And it's time to really test this. Here's the Milky Way galaxy. And let's see if we can find the black hole, Sagittarius, here in the center. And the question is, if we set it to negative mass, what is going to ha- Oh. What? Did it just murder itself? So, do the galaxies not play by the same rules? I think it just completely deleted itself. 
Let's try this again. Okay, Sagittarius. And if we do mass negative, oh my god, it just deletes itself. Or actually, it's still there. It is actually still there. It just broke. The word is there. And it's just following the screen, even if I pan. The, uh, what? What? What is going on? Oh my god. We've, we've broken the game with dark energy. Wow. This is, this is just so wacky. I, I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect this. There's just so many strange effects that occur when the mass is made negative. Like, what's gonna happen to this guy? <gasps> the galaxy just, like, died. What the heck? What, where'd all the light go? Lights out, oh my god. It's being pushed away. No! No! What the heck? <laughs> what is going on? What? Oh my. Wow. I am so confused right now. What? Oh man. I, I really, I don't... I, I don't know what to say. This is just... We never expected something like this. At least I didn't. One sec, so let's see if the black holes. Let's see if it's just that galaxy thing. Let's see if the black hole itself does the same thing. If we set it to negative mass, does it? No, nothing happens. Okay, so let's try this. What we're gonna do is we're going to. How fast can we accelerate something doing this? Like. Let's put Sagittarius A here. Let's put Earth. Now this is gonna be a little bit wacky. Let's put Earth right next to Sagittarius. Now we'd normally expect that. There, there's an example of what happens normally. Earth gets pulled in super, super fast because the mass is just absolutely immense. But what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna get Earth we're going to get Sagittarius A. We're going to make it negative mass, right? And we're gonna put another Earth a little ways away in the line of fire. So this should accelerate Earth very quickly towards the other Earth. So let's slow things down a bit, well a lot, and see what happens. Okay, so actually my aim is perfect. Earth is being pushed towards the other Earth. And it is, oh my god, it's gaining speed. Holy lo, oh man. I can't even say holy moly, look at that. This is going slower than real time and at real time we are getting, we are getting a fraction of the speed of light here, already a thousandth. That may not seem like much, but that's the speed of light, two thousandths. They're both being accelerated in this direction, but this Earth is being set slightly, slightly faster than the other one. Oh, it's catching up. Oh my god, it's hit 10% of light speed. Holy moly! How? How is this a thing in this game? Comparative to each other, they're really... Oh wow, comparative to each other, they are actually very close. But they're still moving extremely fast and there's no way the game is gonna have accurate physics to deal with a situation like this. Instant vaporization. And it's still being accelerated. That's the thing, they're both being accelerated into each other. That is insanity. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> okay, obviously we need to do more with this. This is 
this is fantastic. These tests are showing that this dark matter stuff, lots of fun. We're going to do a lot with it. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you see when we do those things. And um, I, I guess that's all for now. But I I'm going to say that this is this is extraordinary. We have definitely found something. We have definitely discovered something great here. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And goodbye. Hail Vuperia. Spookvooper.com. Discord.gg slash spookvooper. Poof.